What is good, y'all? What is good? Happy May, man. I hope y'all having a good start to your month, a good start to your week. Today is a very important day. It's a special day, a milestone, because your boy is officially at six months with no social media. All right, today's the day I officially deactivated my social media for the first time. I know this past year I deleted it for good, but on November 2nd was the day that I deactivated it and was off it and haven't been on it since. I'm gonna tell y'all, man, it's it's crazy to think about like I'm really not on social media anymore and it's pretty good I'm not even gonna lie to y'all I mean I'll, I'll be honest like there are days where I do wish I was still on it I feel like I'm missing out on stuff still but that's just me reprogramming my brain to try and get back to how it was before social media started taking over our lives and really having an effect on us other than that man everything's been good I feel like you know I've been able to do a lot more, you know what I mean, with my time instead of mindlessly scrolling on social media and Instagram and all these other apps. I've spent a lot more time like really focusing on myself, spending time with God, really just doing other things that are more productive than just sitting on my phone all day. Now, like I tell y'all, you know, obviously I work in marketing. I still, I'm still on Instagram, you know, LinkedIn, Facebook and all that for my work so like i use their company profiles like i said i also have my linkedin profile i have to have facebook so i can do my job but other than that like i'm really not on it and you know it's been good man it's been good i feel like mental health wise like my mind is a lot more clear in terms of you know what i want to accomplish in life what are, like my goals that i want to achieve and how i'm going to achieve them i'm not getting sidetracked by you know, seeing other people do these things or those things and me feeling like, you know, my life isn't good enough and comparing and, you know, just doing the things that people normally do on social media. Now, like I was going through my photos and I realized I haven't taken a picture, like a fit pic in like two months. And, you know, not that I have anything to post it on, but it's like when I had Instagram and I had, you know, stuff to post it on, every time I put on an outfit, I was like, yo, let me get a picture, let me get a picture just so I can post it so other people can see. Now I'm just really just going out and whenever I go outside or just go out in general, I'm just like really just about being in the moment, you know, not, and I'd be forgetting to, you know, take videos or take photos or anything just because I'm like just so focused on being present and not worrying about, you know, trying to show off for other people or just trying to make my life seem better than what it is. That's one thing I noticed, man. It's just like, I do want to get fit pictures because I enjoy, you know, taking fit pics, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But it's just the fact that like, I would take them for the wrong reasons just to post, to kind of flex and, you know, act like you know i'm up when you know what i'm saying i'm just a normal ass person recently i've been seeing just a lot of people just doing things for cloud on social media like people doing challenges i've been seeing on the news like people ending up in the hospital for doing crazy stuff just to just to go viral just to go you know be something bigger than yourself it's like why are y'all doing the most just to feel some type of way social media is just going down the wrong path, man. And, you know, I, I heard there's this new app called like Lemonade. I don't really know, you know what I'm saying? Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like, it's going, it's like an Instagram without Instagram, like reels and all that stuff. Like it's just straight pictures, but you can like edit photos. I don't know what it is to be honest, but it's like, you know, we just coming out with new stuff over and over. Like I said in my last social media video, Instagram's coming out with, you know, they came out with the blue check you know, so you could pay for the blue check. And I'm gonna speak on that a little bit more because I'm like, bro, why? Why, why are you all buying the blue check? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I think God really, you know, spoke to me and was like, yo, don't be on social media because all the stuff that's coming is like, this is gonna damage my mental. It's probably damages some of y'all that are watching this who are still on social media. And I ain't saying social media is bad for everybody. There's a lot of positive that comes from social media. There's a lot of things you can do. Honestly, for me, some days, I'm not gonna lie, in terms of like YouTube, you know, I created the YouTube to be able to have people come to my page organically. I didn't wanna share it on anything. I didn't wanna use like other social platforms to bring attention to my page just because I didn't want all that attention. Now, obviously, I do wanna grow my page and I feel like I do want to reach more people because I feel like I'm confident in what I have to say and I feel like certain people gravitate towards me because you know they understand where I'm coming from or you know they need some advice or just that just that person that's in their ear telling them you know how to navigate through life as I would and I mean you all don't got to take my advice you all don't got to listen to me but you know for the people who subscribe or just anyone who watches my videos like I said I appreciate y'all for you know taking the time to watch my videos and like listen to what I have to say because I feel like 
I do have a lot I want to put out there for people. You know, YouTube's a great way, but also, you know, that's where social media comes in where you can get more attention by other people because not everybody's on YouTube as much as they're on Instagram, you know, Twitter, TikTok. But at the same time, I'm like, look, I'm gonna do this the right way and I'm gonna do this, you know, the way God intended me to do it. If there comes a point in time where I have to go back on social media, I really haven't decided if I would. You know, life has really been good. There are days where I'm stressing out. There are days where, you know, I still feel down, you know, that I should be, I'm not where I should be. But then I just remember like God has me exactly where I'm supposed to be. Definitely takes the load off a little bit, you know, without having to stress over seeing other people doing other things. You know, it's really just in my own zone, in my own bubble. And you know, I enjoy it. I have been contemplating like if it came a point in time where I would need to go back to Instagram, if I would need to go back to these social platforms, would I? And honestly, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I really don't know at this point. Anything can happen, you know what I'm saying? As of right now, like I said, it's been six months. I'm trying to make it to a year at least. If I get to a year without social media, then I can keep going. But if it comes a point in time, like if my YouTube God willing blows up and you know, I'm able to make deals and you know, I have to go back on social media, you know, because you know, it's a way to make money. Not saying money is the most important thing, but I would like YouTube to be a significant amount of my income where I don't have to work a nine to five anymore. And if that's the case for me to make more money and a better income, and I have to post on the socials, and ads and stuff like that you know then we'll cross that bridge when we get there and you know i'll have to make some decisions but as of right now today may 2nd yeah i'm not getting back on social media and i feel like those like i say those who are contemplating like if y'all are really on the fence about it and you're you know self-aware that it's not good for you and you're constantly having to take breaks i'm talking like you on it for two months and you're off it for a couple weeks if you have to take a break to get off of it to clear your mind it's like you already telling yourself right there that it's not the best for you I'm trying to tell y'all you are not missing out on anything I promise you we this generation this whole world is just so big on like FOMO, like the fear of missing out, like you're not missing out on anything. God got you exactly where you're supposed to be. He has you seeing what you're supposed to be seeing, being in the mix of where you're supposed to be in. Like anything else that's going on that you're not involved in, you're not supposed to be involved in. I realized, like I said, like the amount of people that I've spoken to versus when I had social media versus now has decreased significantly. But like I said, I'm so blessed because it's like I have the people around me who are supposed to be around me. It's also gotten me to the point where now, like I haven't spoken to anybody in a minute and I still have their number. I'm gonna reach out, just check up on them and see how they're doing. I feel like we gotta get back to that. We gotta get back to checking up on our friends. We gotta get back to checking up on our loved ones because we just look at social media, we see them post and we think, oh, everything's cool. Like everything's cool with them. I don't gotta check on them but you never truly know what someone's going through based off of their social media. Like I said, Instagram, all these apps is a facade, bro. It's a facade and people really think they're always living their best life. Please tell me how many, like go through your friends if you're on Instagram and all that, go through all the people you follow, go through their profiles and see if anyone's posting anything about their life not being good. And just see all the highlights that they post. That's literally why they got a highlight section on Instagram to post the high moments of people's lives, to make it seem like they're living a life that is so much better than what it actually is. That's why I take the time now to really check up on people, FaceTime people, call people, speak to them on the phone, and just kind of see how they're really doing because nobody's gonna wanna post that they're not doing well or that they're dealing with this or dealing with that, especially on social media because they don't wanna be judged or they don't wanna you know, seem like their life isn't what it is. And I'm just telling y'all, man, like it's okay to not be okay at times. I said before, there are days where I just don't feel like doing anything. I feel like that's okay, you know what I'm saying? Like if certain days I don't feel productive, that's fine, man. But I know on other days I'm gonna be productive and you know, that's where the discipline comes in where you just gotta, you know, you just gotta do it. You just gotta get through it and get on to the next day. But also enjoy that, that day that you had and really reflect and really think about, you know, why you're feeling that way. Being on social media has allowed me to really sit with my thoughts, you know, sit with, how I'm feeling and really try to figure out like why I'm feeling this way and what can I do to change it because social media is not the only reason why if I feel depressed or if I feel you know just in a bad mood it's not always because of social media there are other outside factors that come into play but social media was the biggest one and I felt like once I got rid of that you know it was just a little bit easier to kind of get through life and really just try to figure out what I want to do like I said it's been six months everything's been good 
I really have no complaints. Do I miss social media? Yes, I do. I really do miss it, but I don't miss it because I know what it used to do to me and I'm looking at it how I am now without it and I just feel so much better about life. You know, I'm able to see a lot clearer in terms of what I want to do, what do I want to accomplish, you know, my purpose. And it's crazy because like literally, God was really speaking to me when I first started YouTube. He was like, if you just delete social media and focus on YouTube, it'll grow. It's not gonna probably grow at the rate that I want it to, and that's just, you know, how it is, but it'll grow and you'll have people gravitate towards you because you have the ability to reach out to people and speak to people and really just kind of motivate them to, you know, wanna do more for their lives and do better. And that's all I wanna do on this platform. That's all I wanna do on this YouTube. And, you know, if I was still on social media scrolling for two, three hours that I could use to put in that time in for YouTube or anything else, just other hobbies or just other activities, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. So I can definitely attest to like being off of this for six months, the amount of progress that I've made in six months is, you know, night and day. Because if I was still on social media, I don't think I would have progressed and matured even more than I have been if I was still on social media. Instagram really just wants you to like see what you're not supposed to be seeing. It's not a bad place, but you know, Instagram every time I would go on it and all these other platforms, like you just they just, you just see stuff that you're not trying to see, man. And it's just too much information and all that stuff just really just ruins your brain, man. You're not supposed to be scrolling through, seeing all these stories, seeing all these posts, seeing all these videos. Like your brain can't take all that and be able to process all that in a point where you can really like go about your day because, you know, I promise you, if y'all are scrolling and y'all just scroll for like five minutes, I promise you, if I ask you what was the first thing you saw five minutes ago, you won't even remember because you're seeing so much information that your brain just can't even process all that. And that's just not healthy. Like I said, I'm truly blessed to be in this position because I really never thought I would be in this position where I'm not on social media. And people still to this day are shocked that I'm not on it. And it's like, I have no problem saying it no more. They'll be like, yo, what's your social media? I'm like, I don't got social media. They're like, what? You don't got social media? Like, it's a big deal. Like, the end all be all. It's like, nah, I don't got it. But, you know, here's my number. Here's my YouTube. If you need me, you know where to find me. Like I say, just delete it. You're not missing out on nothing. Take steps with it, you know? Take a month off. Take a few weeks off. Whatever you got to do to, you know, see that the other side of not having social media is beautiful. It's beautiful. And I've actually gotten a few people to kind of really realize that social media isn't the best for them. They've deleted it and they feel a lot better. Now, if you got a business or anything where you need to promote your job or whatever that you do, keep it. But I'm saying just use it for what you're actually using it for, which is your business. Don't say you're using it for your business, but you're really out here just, you know, trying to show off your whole life and everything like that, you know? Just use it honestly and, you know, things will work out. For the people who don't use it for their business, who just use it for, the, you know, their personal profile or whatever, take a break. I promise you, you'll just be more productive. You'll get better sleep. You'll eat a lot better. I promise you, I've been eating so much better because it's just like, I don't know why. I just feel good mentally, physically, emotionally. I'm just able to be in tune with myself. And that's the whole reason why I got rid of it was because I wanted to really just deal with me and not what I see, you know, from other people. And once you figure that out, like I said, everybody's different. Some might figure it out, some might not. Those who do figure it out that you can live a great life the same way without it as you can with it. Once y'all figure that out, I'm telling you, the other side is bright and it's fun. And it's a great life to live. I wanna make that little update for y'all, just seeing that you don't need social media. And I'm gonna keep saying that you don't need social media to exist in this world and to live a beautiful life. Take me for example, you got any questions? and you're still debating on if you want to delete it or not, send me an email, write a comment. I'll get back to y'all, I promise. But like I said, six months without social media, I know I said in my two month update, this is the best I ever felt, but at six months, this is the best I've ever felt. And I'm gonna make another update in a year. So coming back in November, I'll have another update on how I am. And I promise you, I'm gonna be, leaps and bounds from where I'm at right now. I promise y'all that. Y'all have a great rest of your week. Stay blessed. Stay blessed.